Meg. I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. You are my rock and you make me feel happy, motivated and loved always. You strengthen my weaknesses, bring focus to my dreams and make me a better person, more driven and organised, allowing me to grow myself and our relationship, which I hope I also do for you. I promise to work with you as a team, together, and to love you even when you get real sassy. <laughs> I promise to always make you coffee in the morning, to listen better, to make time to talk, to learn with you, making sure I continually support and appreciate you. I can't wait to build on the life we have, growing and nurturing a future together. The rings we exchange today that have no end, because they are a circle and not square. <laughs> <laughs> and neither shall I love my love for you. So I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. I love you, Meg. Adam, I promise to be your sunshine when darkness falls. <laughs> your inspiration to overcome obstacles. Your comfort when you feel pain. Your voice when no one can hear you and your ear when no one will listen. I can't promise to solve all of your problems, but I can promise you will never face them alone. I vow to be the best roommate and to make you the best coffee too. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to do sunrise walks with you and be your partner in every swim, run and mountain climbing challenge we decide to take on. I promise to grow with you and support you and to encourage you to achieve the wildest of dreams. Today, I give you my heart, my faith and my love. I look forward to seeing the man you become. As we embark on this adventure together, as best friends and each other's family, I choose you, I always have and I always will. Every day for the rest of our lives, it was always you. is the union of two people. This union is entered into voluntarily for life to the exclusion of all others. So, you have the rings. Would you like to step <laughs> forward, please, sir? With the box open, and I, first of all, I would like you to offer the open box. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Adam. To witness that I, Adam. Do take thee, Megan to take thee, Megan, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, I give you this ring, I give you this ring, as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage, I want you to push the ring onto her finger, has it gone? Yeah. Excellent, <laughs> if you'd like to step <laughs> forward and offer that to Megan, please, thank you, lovely, responsibility, thank you, <laughs> 
Which, oh, wait, it's this yeah, one. Give <laughs> we were warned that the ring is quite tight. It's so, so tight. Third finger left hand, hang on to his hand as well. That's it, that this one. one. There we go. <laughs> Hold that ring there, and I want you to have eyes only for your lovely groom, and I want you to say your declaration to him. I call upon... I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I, Megan, to witness that I, Megan, do take thee, Adam, do take thee, Adam, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. I'd like to push the ring oh on. no! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go on, give it a good shot. Excellent. That went on easier you. than I well thought. Done. Excellent. You are now legally husband and wife together. I don't think I need to tell you what you're going to do. I've never really been one for public speaking, but seeing as love, loving someone deeply gives you strength, and being loved by someone deeply gives you courage, I feel sufficiently ready to give this speech. I don't want to take up too much time today, so I'll try and keep this short and sweet, like my best man Ian. Um, it's quite a humbling experience to realise that you have friends and family that care so much for you, and I do generally mean that. I would now like to say a few words about Meg, my new wife. She's beautiful, intelligent, funny and caring. I could go on, but to be honest, I'm struggling to read what she's written. <laughs> <laughs> we first met at the University of Manchester at the first swimming session of a new semester. We met a few times over the following weeks on socials and she was reserved and shy to begin with, had a boyfriend and seemed too cool for me. <laughs> we forced a strong friendship over the uni years and for one reason or another, never dated. She says she was waiting for me to grow up, which is, to be honest, is probably a good idea. <laughs> I finally did grow up. Uh, and Meg and I kept in contact after uni. While I was doing my PhD, I invited Meg up for a night out, but really it was just an excuse to see her. And this was where the relationship blossomed from. We got to planning a friend's holiday and we went on an amazing trip to Zante. Luckily on that trip, my friend Matt asked if we were dating and that saved me from having to ask Meg myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say thank you to my wife for her love, support and encouragement over the years. You really have been my rock and you are my inspiration, always pushing me to do better, which I love. Most people on their wedding day describe it as the happiest day of their lives, which worries me a bit because it implies that from tomorrow, there's a lifelong decline ahead. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the most of today. However, I'm hopeful for the future. As every day with Meg seems to me as a gift. There is a saying that you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry a person you can't live without, and that's definitely the case for me. Can I just get everyone to stand up, raise your glasses and join me in a toast? <coughs> to Meg, family and the future. Our dreams before us Nothing to hold us back You showed me we are 